As of July 1st, this law in Florida allows police officers to review their body camera footage before writing reports or making statements. Republican Governor Rick Scott signed the measure last month, amending existing Florida law, allowing officers to watch the footage involving any event that occurred during execution of their duties. The one paragraph provision specifically does not apply to an officer's inherent duty to immediately disclose information needed to secure an active crime scene or identify suspects or witnesses. Supporters have called it a common sense measure that would help police make sure minor details are correct in reports and allow officers to essentially watch the whole episode play out before filing a formal report. Critics say serious interactions such as police shootings, it gives officers an unfair advantage over citizens who don't have access to that footage. All right, joining us right now, folks, is my man uh, out of St. Louis. Uh, Reddit Hudson joins us right now, a co-founder of the National Coalition of Law Enforcement for Justice, Reform, and Accountability. Reddit, just when you look at this bill, uh, you see how the governor is trying to spin this whole deal. Bottom line is we've had lots of cops like those in Chicago who have been lying on these reports. Count me as a critic. Uh, this is an opportunity to give officers an answer to the test. The answer to the test before they take it uh, is another layer on top of laws that are already written to advantage officers when they've been accused of crimes. We've seen already, uh, even with videotape, it's hard to get a conviction on one of these officers, Walter Scott, Orlando Castile. Uh, we saw what happened here in Cincinnati most recently. I can't remember the brother's name who was shot in the head by the University of Cincinnati officer. As he Sam DuBose. Yeah, but we get a hung jury on that. So this is just another layer uh, that has been provided to police for them to avoid accountability. And it's why it's critical role. And I, I beat my drum all the time for black officers to challenge these laws that directly impact our community as it relates to police in service to us and challenge the policies on the books that we see where we're going to be directly impacted. We don't choke their people to death on the corner while they say they can't breathe. We don't shoot at their unarmed children. And when we do, we get 40 years in prison real quick, like down in New Orleans. So uh, it's, it's Florida, like you said. I'm not surprised in the current climate that we have relative to criminal justice. With Jeff Sessions at the top, you can expect to see every state in, in the union try to pass these kinds of laws to protect police from their crimes. Well, you already have states like Missouri and others that actually pass laws preventing the public from even seeing the video. Uh, in North Carolina, they passed a law uh, that says uh, no one could see it unless uh, they were actually on the video itself. Again, they don't want the public to see wrongdoing by cops. And it's, and it's kind of a naked uh, attempt to block uh, justice for these officers. And it's, it's done because politically, I think they believe that there is no effective challenge to be made to their uh, corruption. So we have to build a movement with the movement that we saw evolve on the ground, grassroots, challenging police authority, challenging the system, a corrupt and broken criminal justice system that is institutionally racist and get about our business because we're going to see more and more of this kind of uh, thing as we go forward if it goes unchallenged by us. All right, Reddit Hudson, we surely appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, bro. All right, then. Folks, th we know what this is. Of course. But I mean, but, you know, laws have unintended consequences, Roland. I mean, at the end of the day, after these things happen, they get to review the tape. At what point did all of a sudden the body cameras start being obscured by some type of interference? I mean, you know, you never know. Certainly they passed it for one reason, yeah. but it could have unintended consequences as well. Roland, how do we deal with these police unions that have so much political influence, that have so much political power? It's not just the police chiefs, it's not just the mayors, it's these unions yeah. that have a grasp on these politicians. Because in every terms politician of wants money. their endorsement that, when they run that's for absolutely office. Right. You remember in Wisconsin, they gave the exemption in terms of union bargaining to the police officers, right? So, I mean, my question is should we relax union bargaining oh. for police? Right? Maybe so, that should be an exempt. I, uh, well, uh, obviously I agree with that statement. Of course, right? anyone <laughs> should be able to opt out of unions and not not have that automatic checkbox or that pressure to join a union because of peer pressure. I mean, but, that's but, just as but, bad as... But your situation. party loves... 
police, police unions. There you go. Yeah, they do. That's they right. Your, exemptions. Your, your party I, ain't going for that. I, I, right. I'm, I'm not. I mean, your, so, 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 your party don't like unions. Well, I'm, except I'm when they police unions. I'm speaking for the party. I'm not you speaking for the party. I'm, uh, Breaking news? On, uh, I'm anti, you know, collective bargaining that doesn't include everyone's right to say how that oh, money is. Oh, so you're pro collective bargaining. All right. For everybody. Okay. Let's see how your party feel about that. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.